Hey, don't you bite me. What's up, guys? What is going on? Me and JD are back, and we have brought a special guest along with us, a good friend of ours, Jake the Snake. What up, Jake? Jake the Snake. What's going on, What's going guys? on, man? Thank How you, you so doing? so much for inviting me here on the show. I'm doing really good, man. Just up and out on a beautiful afternoon here in the Vegas Valley. I'm literally driving past this giant Roomba since that'll be the biggest <laughs> game tonight with the Ravens and Raiders, and it's going to be a packed house tonight. So, man, what a wild week one. It's been great. First and foremost, guys, welcome I-90 Sports Nation. What's up, guys? Episode 8 coming at you. Banging them out, man. Hell yeah. So what a wild week one we had, boys. Wild week one. Depressing and wild. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. We uh we got to see some we got to see some some rookie quarterbacks uh show off what they could do. Um and we're going to start on the East Coast, and then we will work our way west. So let's start it off with uh, the Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Now, um, there was a – this game was interesting. I was at this game personally, so I kind of got to see how – I think you get a better look at um, – at how the game goes and the ebb and flow of it. If you're actually sitting there watching it as a fan. Definitely. Cause I don't think that's, that's what TV doesn't, that's what the TV doesn't or doesn't uh, sometimes uh, can't like show the ebb and flow of the, of the game and just the, the momentum. And it's, it's, it's a different aspect of it, but I have some, uh, some good and bad points for this game. And then, uh, I will, I'll run them down for you guys. And then I will ask what you thought of it. Um, so Pats versus the Dolphins, the good points to me, the run blocking from the offensive line, Damian Harris, Jonu Smith, Mac Jones, and Nelson Aguilar. Those are my good, those are the, the standouts in the, in the, I think what the Pats did very well in that game. The bad points. The inconsistent play calling on both sides of the ball, offensive and defensive. I think they were, I think the Patriots were good for one drive and then very mediocre for others. And then they would show up and then they wouldn't. It was a very up and down, back and forth when it came to the play calling. There were a lot of head scratching moments, you know, uh, third and eights where they would run off tackle with James White. And I think that's, to me, that's kind of a head scratcher. Because if you're going to run off tackle, you have Ramondre Stevenson and and, and uh, Damian Harris to do that. So, Absolutely. And then, the so the next one running down, the pass blocking from the offensive line. Mac Jones was taking hits all game. He was taking hits all game. And uh, that's concerning because the, the line was supposed to be one of the better one of the better points of this team. And it seemed like the communication, at least in the passing game was, was at times very spotty. And to see Mac Jones take hit, take hits like that um, was concerning. The next one I would have to say is has to, both of these next two points have to do with the defense and it's the linebackers because the Patriots in the middle of the field on, on defense got absolutely eaten alive by Miami Two, they gave two of the middle of the field the whole game, and he took it. He took it. He took it. They they gave it to him the whole middle of the game. They 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 let Tua work in that in that twelve to sixteen yard range, and he absolutely torched the Pats. And then the last but not least was the inconsistent pass rush from the Patriots. So let's start with the uh, guest today, <laughs> Jake. What do you think? Do you think the Pats have problems or? What do you think? I think this was kind of just a start for them. Um, I mean, first of all, you're, you're starting a rookie quarterback in Mac Jones, who, as you can kind of see from play by play, very systematic. I think he's kind of somebody that's to the book that Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniels puts together. Uh, but I thought it was very impressive. He shows you that 
He's very accurate of the football. He'll execute the spots when uh, when any of his open receivers are there. Um, and, 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 of course, there were a couple of sloppy plays, as you mentioned, that happened here and there. But I think this is just a start to seeing what the Patriots could do with a rookie quarterback because we hadn't seen something like this uh, in a while. So I'm sure Patriot fans are kind of new to this. Uh, some, I think, have probably seen this years ago, but it, it's quite a refresher. But I thought Mac Jones and Nelson Aguilar looked really good today. Or, uh, very, very. So, that, that chemistry is encouraging. They looked very good. Yeah, and it's funny you brought the point about, you know, the linebackers against Miami's offense. Because you think of, uh, you know, Chase Winovich, you think of Kyle Van Noy who comes back to uh, New England. That's going to be something they're going to need to address to fix up because I thought that was a mess on the linebacking core. Um, we still saw exactly the same clutch uh, secondary that we thought we would with, um, you know, with New England. But, you know, it is, a, it is a start for week one. It's pretty unpredictable at times. But I think this is going to be a team that's going to get better over time. Absolutely. I, a lot of the issues that I did see with them are, are definitely, definitely correctable. Coachable, correctable. Nothing, nothing that was like, like, oh, man, this is going to be a problem for the rest of the year. It was just stuff that they definitely do need to need to correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of adjustments that needed to be made, um, but they wanted to see how they, they perform in week one. And I think the way that the process is pretty slow, but they're a type of team that works every week. So they're, they're going to work on certain things, fix up a little bit of certain plays that may have been miscued, miscued and then they're going to get better by each week. So that that way, then you know they they master the playbook. Hell yeah, man! Right, very good assessment. I and I agree with uh, pretty much pretty much everything uh, Jake had to say. And to add on to it, I would say that um, this game to me said a lot more about Brian Flores than it did in his defensive scheme than it did about the Patriots or their offensive scheme. I think that. I think that Mac Jones. See, here's what Mac Jones is doing, and here's what Josh McDaniels is doing. You ever you ever gone to the pool on a, a really warm day, and it wasn't warm earlier in the week, uh, <laughs> but you know you want to go to the pool, and you dip, you kind of dip your feet in a little bit. That's what they were doing with the playbook. They're kind of dipping their feet in a little bit. They're seeing what they could get away with. They were seeing what what Mac was good at, basically. And I think that it just said a lot about um, Brian Flores' defense that they weren't going to allow them to, to do anything funny. Um, and it was a grinding game, man. It was a good game. And to add on to your point, Bobby, about being at the game, when you're at the game, you're immersed into the energy of the team or both teams. So you can feel the momentum swing left and right, whereas, whereas on TV, it might come as a surprise when the momentum swings. So that's kind of that's that's how I would describe that. And uh, yeah, it just says a lot more about Flores to me than than, than Mac or anyone else. So let's kind of let's kind of focus on the good points first. The mm -hmm. run blocking. So let me let me give you let's let me give you some some numbers here, uh, Pat's Nation. <clears throat> the run blocking and the offense overall was 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 pretty good for the for the Patriots. So let's let me let me let me rifle off some numbers to you guys. To you, JD, and uh, and um, I want to get your opinions on them. So Nelson Aguilar, five catches, seventy-two yards, one touchdown. Damian Harris, twenty-three carries for one hundred wow. yards. Mac Jones, Mac Ten, Mac Daddy, QB one, twenty-nine of thirty-nine, seventy-four point four percent. 281 yards, one touchdown, no picks, no fumble. Excellent. James White, 10 carries, 61 yards. Now, with those stats, you'd think the Patriots would have won that game. If I if I if I gave you those stats and and said, sure. do you think the Pats won that game or lost that game? They should have won that game with stats like that. Well, here's what I would say um, in contradiction is I would say that 70% of 
you know, I'm not saying that some of the Mac Jones played amazing for a rookie, absolutely amazing. But if you give 70% to Tom Brady, he's throwing probably throwing down the field more, probably scoring more touchdowns. So like it goes back to like my getting my getting uh, McDaniel's feet wet. That's that's how I see it. It's like they weren't they weren't able to push the envelope, or they didn't feel comfortable pushing the envelope too much, and that might be why they why they lost because Flores took advantage of some turnovers. They it's also game, though. keep in mind they did also have two fumbles. Yeah, that's true, and that's, that turned it that turned into points. That's gonna kill you. Yeah, that's definitely. Uh, I'm sure Belichick's not happy about that.